Hey, what is up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be testing out the M1 MacBook Air uh, with 8GB of RAM, 256GB of storage. Um, and uh, we have here the version with 256GB storage, as I said. So it has 8 CPU cores, 7 GPU cores. And we have here um, another laptop with a Knight 3 8 gen, um, which probably costed as much as I got this MacBook used. Um, however, this i3 CPU that you have in here, you can find it in most Ultrabooks, and Ultrabooks are regularly a little bit more expensive than normal laptops because they are thin, when they have good battery, trackpad, and whatever. So this CPU is also found in um, Ultrabooks at around 700 euros. So it's not really a direct comparison, but just to make you just to make you an idea of how good or how bad this MacBook performs compared to Windows. Of course, this doesn't have a dedicated GPU. This also has integrated graphics. So yeah, both of them have eight gigabytes of RAM. This one has a 512 gigabyte SSD, which is a little bit faster. So let's just try out and pretty much play these games. Okay, so I have low graphics, 1080p resolution, and low graphics, and this is 4K resolution, I'm not really sure why it is 4K, um, but I'm just going to be try and test it out as it is right now, and then I'm just going to lower the resolution eventually. So we have the FPS counter, 60 FPS it says right now, where here we have 20, so let's launch the game, see how it goes. Okay, so I have low graphics, 1080p resolution, and low graphics, and this is 4K resolution, I'm not really sure why it is 4K, um, but I'm just going to try and test it out as it is right now, and then I'm just going to lower the resolution eventually. We got 32 frames per second, here we got 20, as you can see the fans start kicking in. Let's see how smooth it is on the M1 Mac. Okay, so to be honest, um, we are having 30 FPS and everything looks and pretty much feels decently smooth. So you can really play, it's not a problem. Um, you can run this game even with 36, 37 FPS, which um, I'm going to be saying is really good. I'm playing right now with one hand. Um, so yeah, as you can see, we are getting around 30 FPS which is decently fine to be honest let's park the truck and see how this one feels right here then the display is really bad and we do not get more than 20 fps but the graphics the graphics even though they are low on um and both, they look better on the Mac, for whatever reason. And oh my god, you can see how terrible the display is on this thing. We are getting around 20 FPS. Okay, so let's try and switch the graphics now. At this point, you can pretty much see that it works way better on uh, on the Mac. Let's try and load the resolution step by step. I figure out that um, the more you lower the resolution, the worse it looks. Even though this thing is a one uh, is a 1600 um, pixel display. If you just lower it even from 4k to 6 uh, 1600p it still looks weird so let's see how it looks now yeah, you can pretty much see everything looks way more pixeled um and there's not really a high fps boost 
I'm not really sure what causes this problem, but let's just stay in uh, 4K right here. It might be just a bug. And let's try and up the graphics. Okay, so with uh, medium graphics, we get around 26, 25 FPS. And it looks decently good, to be honest. Um, keep in mind that I'm also recording, so recording the video may also eat up a few FPS. But in the city, we get around 18 to 20 FPS, as you can see. And I just crashed. So yeah, 18, 20 FPS. However, I think this game is totally playable with 30 FPS and low settings. Let's try and uh, change the graphics to higher up. Or you know what? Let me just try and do something different. Let's go with ultra graphics and then um, lower the resolution and see how it looks with 1080p. Just see how it looks. Okay guys, so we are getting around 20 FPS. Um, the graphics, yeah, they look very good. However, everything looks very pixelated. As you guys can see right here. Damn, everything looks really pixelated. And uh, let's switch again to the lowest graphics. So that you guys can see how it looks. Okay guys, and um, to be honest, this game with very low graphics and 4K resolution, it looks, it looks very good. We get around 30 FPS, this is the maximum I got, and to be honest, it's, um, it's quite decent. It's playable, it's probably not the best experience, but if you really just want to play some Euro Truck Simulator 2, I think this is really great. Um, just make sure, write down in the comments what next test you want to see. I haven't planned to test uh, CSGO and I already tested Minecraft. So if you want to check out the Minecraft video, it's one video below this. Okay guys, and um, we are getting around 75, 76 degrees. Um, this is the CPU temps. Um, we are getting 74 degrees on the CPU and 74 on the GPU. So normally when video rendering or stress testing this laptop, um, the degrees go up to 90 to 100. So this just shows up that your truck simulator 2 is not fully optimized and it doesn't um, pretty much get all the power from, um, from the CPU and the M1 chip. So if it was better optimized, I think we could have gotten way more FPS than just what we did get. Um, so we can really just hope we'll get better optimized in the future. And guys, yeah.